Hey yo everybody, Haku here. I just got back from vacation yesterday and uh, just woke up. Like I got back last night, just woke up in the morning. So now I'm going to be working to catch up on everything that I've missed. Uh, for anime I'll probably be doing like double reviews like episode 8 and 9 review this week and for Tower of God I'll do the same for my chapter live reaction review. I'll do a double live reaction and a double review on uh, Monday and Tuesday this week. But um, I am going ahead. I'm only a day behind for the One Piece uh, and or manga live reaction and uh, also Bleach. So right now I'm going to start things off getting back into things with uh, the li my live reaction to yesterday's One Piece 836 and then the final chapter of Bleach that I did say I would do a video on. I will do a live reaction and discuss it a bit in a second video up sometime today after this one. Sometime tonight or something. So let's go ahead and see what we've got in One Piece 836. That's uh, chapter 836, the Viver card Lola gave. And we see um, Aokiji Kuzan uh, reading a newspaper. He's got the, um, he's got a shish kebab in his mouth, a little cabin behind him, some snowy mountains, this penguin thing. Uh, from the decks of the world, the 500 million Berry Man arc, uh, volume 23, Aokiji on an island. And as you guys know, I'm not a big Aokiji fan, so it's whatever. Like, I, he's not a character that I absolutely hate or anything, but I don't really like Aokiji. It looks like a bunch of fan arts. Okay, here we go. You have a daughter named Lola, says Nami, and she's run away from home? It couldn't be. My beloved older sister. She also wanted the freedom to choose her own love and set off on the ocean. She's remembering what Pudding said. On a journey of courtship. Crap! <laughs> uh, uh, the big mom's husband, dude. Cracker, unhand me. Lola, chiffon. I just have to see my girls. Lola, my mom's a pirate, and now she's remembering Lola. You can have this. It's really special. It's my mom's Viver card. Namizo, you and I are now officially sworn sisters. Whoa, that's awesome. Captain Lola's mom is a big wig pirate. Take special care of that. It's sure to come in handy later. And Nami is just like frozen. It can't be. Lola's mom is the big mom? Hmm? Says Luffy. I was born in the new world. Say, seeing what Lola said. So that means that this guy here is Lola's father. What? Yes, we all put this shit together. Hmm. Tsu! And we see the uh, crane flying in. And then Luffy looks up. Ah? And the crane is running at him, just saying crane essentially. I'm pretty sure that would be Tsuru. Yo, and Randolph is riding in, spinning the spear above his head. They're back for more. The rabbit and crane, says Luffy. They're flying right at us, says Nami. Stop right there, Randolph, says Cracker. Yo, and we see his, his serious face. All the, all the trees. Crap! Yo. What the heck? And the trees get knocked out? Hockey? No. That was something else, says Luffy. They withered away from fear alone, says Nami? But why is one of the heralded sweet three commanders in this forest, says the trees. What, am I not good enough to be here or something, says Cracker? Forgive our insolence, Lord Cracker. Eek! And they start wilting away again. You sure got some balls. Crashing my party, sticking your nose where it don't belong, and doing it all in plain sight, Randolph. My apologies. He forced me, says Randolph, <laughs> pointing at the crane. Liar, you dragged me here, says the crane. And then Luffy and Nami are shocked. They spoke. So he must be a big shot then. He's definitely strong, that's for sure, says Luffy. Oh, so Luffy can tell. We can tell this dude's strong now, because, like, of course, when Luffy says a dude's strong, it means he has, like, powerful hockey or some crazy shit. Mama is a woman who always seizes the initiative, says Cracker. Straw Hat Luffy is the man who brought down Doflamingo. Since Brule would probably have her hands full with you, she sent me along. I take exception to that, brother. I simply can't let that slide. That was rude and insulting, says Brule, showing up. Yeju, yeju. 
Yo, and she's on top of this massive tree monster. Awesome, a tree monster, says Luffy. Ah, it's that lady, says Nami. If she had simply given me the word, I'd have slaughtered him in the blink of an eye. Agreed, Jew, says the uh, tree. Yo, this giant tree monster. Up until today, not a single person targeted by us has left our team's forest of temptation alive, Jew. Master of the Forest of Temptation, King Bomb. Yo. Yeah, that's fine and all, but we ain't got the time for these coy little games of yours, says I, Cracker. Tomorrow afternoon, all the Vinsmoke family's brothers will be at attendance in the Whole Cake Chateau. This union with the Vinsmoke family is an event Mama has long waited for, as it'll mean the acquisition of the German 66 military force along with their research and science division. I know that already, says Brule, um, opening a mirror, or shining a mirror. Bark, bark, meow. Whoa, they all—they turned into animals. Yo, what? Is that like? Oh, she's probably turning all of the um, things that look um, <laughs> the things that look like Luffy's allies back into the animals. So how come that one branch is talking? Says um, Luffy. I'm not a branch, you dimwit. Feast your eyes on this straw hat, says Brule. And she has, um, carrot and chopper in a mirror. Ah, Luffy, Luffy, Nami, save us. What? Or, what the, what happened to you guys? How'd you end up in there? She shoved us into this mirror world, says Chopper. She uses the power of mirrors. Be careful. Wee hui hui. What do you think of that, brother cracker? I've already got these guys by the scruff of their necks. Ah! says uh, Luffy jumping out of the way as she, like, throws the mirror at them, and it shatters. Chopper, Carrot, speak to me. Are you all right, says Luffy, yelling at the mirror. We're fine. It's not like we ourselves actually shattered. Luffy, hold on a sec. Hmm? Fine, whatever, says Cracker. Mama, w Mama said she wouldn't lose any sleep if you had an accident. What? Linlin -lin said that, says the husband dude. Well then, let this fact sink in. I mean, I could very well be your father. Perhaps you were my original, but you're not mine now. Yo, so this dude, Cracker, was also his son. According to Mama, her previous 43 husbands are just random groups of outsiders with no blood relation whatsoever. No, I'm begging you. What about my daughters? I'm related to them. They're my flesh and blood. Ugh, my flesh and blood. Please, don't. And then, yo, Luffy kicks the uh, sword away from the dude's neck and flips backwards and lands, stares down Cracker. Yo, Cracker throws down the big dude. Is this pity? Compassion? And um, the giant is crying. Thank you. You've known him for so long, and yet you act like you don't feel a thing for him. So is he not his actual father? Uh, I guess he's not his actual father. Holy crap, this is not going to end well, says all the sweets running away. Lord Cracker's about to open up a huge can of whoop-ass right here. <laughs> We've got to go now. What's your, n what's your name, says Nami with uh, the giant dude. My name is Pound. Just a while ago, you said the name Lola, did you not? Where do you think you're running off to, homies, says, um, probably Brule. Grab them, capture them, do not let them get away. As long as it's in that direction, it won't be a problem. And all the homies are chasing, uh, Pound and Nami. Hang on, hang on a second, um, and then she digs around in her tits. Here it is, she pulls out the beaver guard. She's been keeping it there. Whoa, what is this? This is my friend Lola, Lola's mom's Viva card. I can't say for certain if that means it's big moms or not. What the hell is going on here, says Brule? What's wrong with you guys? I'm talking to you, King. Bo I'm talking to you too, King Bomb. We're sorry, Brule. We homies cannot oppose that girl, Jew, says Bomb. What? We can sense it. Mama's powerful soul, Jew. And then Nami looks back, holding the card. Huh? Wah! And it looks like Luffy gets thrown backwards. Luffy? You! And then Cracker's just walking slowly towards them. Cracker. Damn, says Luffy, trying to, like, standing back up. 
Knock once and it splits in two. Knock again and it becomes three. You have zero chance of coming out of this victorious. You'll only interrupt Mama's ceremony over my dead body. Yunko Big Mom Pirates, one of the three sweet commanders, thousand arm crackers. Bounty, 860 million. Yo. This dude. So the commanders, I guess, are similar to the calamities from Kaido's crew. Yo, this dude. He has four arms and they're holding a bunch of shields that look like crackers and these swords. Yo. This, this dude's really cool. I wasn't expecting him to be cool. Um, Luffy, breathe. We can't have you fighting all out. That's not what we're here for, says Nami. Remember, as soon as we get out of this forest, our top priority is to find and get to Sanji. Not go all out, says Luffy. I don't know any other way. A desperate clash with one of the Yonko's officers. One Piece Chapter 836 end. So, that was, that was a really interesting one. Sorry I'm still kind of, um, I don't know. Still kind of not totally, like, into it. I'm still a bit tired and everything. But that was really cool. And I'll have the review up tomorrow, which is sort of the usual thing. Um, well, except a day later. But either way, I'll try to get the review up tomorrow. Hopefully, if not, it'll be up Sunday. So thank you for watching this one. Like if you did like it, comment down there if uh, what you thought of my first thoughts and reactions to the chapter and what you thought of the chapter itself. Subscribe for more One Piece, uh, Tower of God, Walking Dead, and a ton more. Follow on Twitter if you want, and I'll try to keep you updated there on everything. And um, yeah, that's it. So thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.